Hey, this is Bike with Steve. I did a uh, nice loop. We took the South Platte down to the Cherry Creek. Uh, it was 27.77 miles. I did about an hour and a half, 746 feet of gain, and an uh, average of 219 watts. Um, so here's me going down Lowell. I just went past the uh, kind of Highlands area. Still heading down Lowell. Really nice day, probably around 80 degrees. I had to stop and adjust my seat, and I just uh, got a little bit loose somehow. So I'm heading down, I'm going to be heading, making a right over to Sloan's Lake, which is a beautiful lake if you get to go around it. And then kind of heading towards Mile High Stadium, it used to be called Sports Authority Field until they went out of business, of course. Uh, but it's a beautiful stadium, it was after yesterday's kind of uh, preseason game against the Vikings, so it was nice and dead um, after all the action last night. There I am on the the Clear Creek Trail, I'm heading south, I'm sorry, the South Platte Trail, heading south. Yeah, nice day, a lot of people out, but but not too busy on this trail. Um, they got a little lost here. I, I tried to do a little off-road shortcut. It didn't work out. Had to head back the way I came, but it's okay. I got back on the trail, and there I am heading south again on the, on the South Platte. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this down a while, uh, many miles. Um, that's US 85 on the left. But again, good roads, good sidewalks, nice people. It was, a, it was overall a really good day. So I'm sitting around, I'm waiting, there's a detour at Alameda. I guess the bike lane was closed, and it looks like there's some road lane closures as well. So here I am on the detour. Um, so just be careful on that if you're going the summer of 2018. Uh, I'm back on the trail. Again, everything's still pretty green for August. Usually in Denver, it's tough. It starts to get real brown, but we've had some uh, late season rains and thunderstorms and it's kept it at least somewhat green but you can see this brown coming in on the grasses on the right. Yeah, heading south still, we're going to be coming up on a uh, golf course over there on the left and to the right is, is uh, Ruby Hill Park. I uh, can't see that too well. We're heading down and then we're going to head uh, down a little bit further and then we're going to get off at Dartmouth and go left up Dartmouth. Now we're on Dartmouth. And I take this a while, get a little bit off the, the bike path accidentally, but across here, and then I'm back up on the sidewalk, and then the bike path kind of ends, and then it's just a, a side lane. So I'm, I'm taking this for a long, long while. As a hamburger stand, it's cool that cars could pull out through it on the right there. Like I said, I keep going. It's a kind of cool neighborhood in South Denver. I, I haven't really spent much time down there but houses are nice again not not too many cars on the road is was really a nice day some other cyclists all kitted out we kind of drafted behind them for a while they were going pretty slow and I wasn't in my uh, abrasion mode when I was kind of on the road uh, I was kind of giving my knee a little bit of a break uh, a pretty bad knee as you know There we go now. I'm trying to get into that park and I missed the entrance. So I kind of come up through here, past the pool, and then I'm on the trail. This trail had a lot of strollers, so I kind of hung over in the single track, double track. Uh, so you kind of saw that for a second. I was kind of stuck behind some people. It's a nice, nice trail though. It wasn't super used, but it was used by people with strollers. It's a cool tunnel. Then up here, I actually uh, I see a dog that I think is my friend's dog. Um, so I actually. Uh, uh, stop and uh, send her a text message kind of making sure that hey it's your dog home and safe and uh, you'll see later on I'll, I'll stop and actually take a phone call from her to make sure uh, turns out it's it's not her dog it's someone else's dog and he was just hanging out he looked lost he was just kind of sitting by the trail but there wasn't anyone around uh, so here I'm on Iliff Avenue and I was just Evans so I'm heading north now I'm connecting to the to Cherry Creek Trail um, decided I want to do around 30 miles, so this was a good stopping point, obviously. I ended up at 27.7, so I cut it a little short, but I'll call it good. So I'm heading north now on the Cherry Creek Loop. Uh, this is a pretty busy trail, so I kind of stayed over, over there where I could. Um, and then I'm coming up to, uh, this is when I took that phone call I was talking about, making sure that the dog was okay, and it wasn't her dog. Uh, so worked out okay. You know, drank some water because I probably didn't for most of this trip. Uh, there I am, heading north again. 
Again, see a lot of cyclists and walkers and rollerbladers and uh, a lot of those lime and bird scooters going down it too. And, and they go pretty slow. They go like top speed, like 12, 13 miles an hour. So, you know, I'm going 18 uh, when I'm going kind of slow and, you know, 20, 24 when I'm kind of going full out. Um, full out on flats for recreational riding. I probably go faster coming down a hill. But there I am, keep going. Uh, so I'm kind of on spears on either side of us. Uh, we're just past nine news, I believe. And uh, we just kind of keep heading up. And we're almost there. Uh, almost to like downtown Lodo. Uh, actually no, we got a little bit, a little bit longer until we get to kind of downtown. Uh, we're on the Cap Hill area. Kind of went behind these guys for a while. Again, there's too many people. It's hard to pass, and they're moving at a pretty good pace. That was a uh, couple for me. Uh, and they, they kind of peel off and go by where they are. Here I am coming to downtown uh, Confluence Park, which finally got renovated and actually looks really nice. And there I am with REI over there on the left, and then kind of crossing over to be able to get over to uh, to, to home. So going up over the bridge. And now I'm over going up to home. And then I'll, uh, I'll turn left on uh, 35th Street and start heading towards like the, the Berkeley Highlands area. Uh, pretty quick trip. Uh, the biggest wait is when you get to the federal light. That's like a two, three minute light. And there I am, with my hand up, and the cyclist caught up to me. There we are across. So I'm gonna head back, I'm gonna be back on low, and then uh, I think it's a low, I'm pretty much home, and that was my ride. Again, uh, 27.7 miles, hour and a half. Uh, thanks for riding with me. Have a great day.